Year by Year by Claire Parker. Spring is filled with the richness of Easter eggs, blossom and lambs. Summer is for new glasses, hot holidays and spray tans. Autumn is for reams of colourful leaves, pumpkin pie and chestnuts galore. Winter is for a merry Christmas, bargain shopping and building snowmen on the floor. Spring is filled with the riches of bright flowers, brightness and glee. Summer is for buzzing bees, cream and bathing on the beachfront sea. Autumn is for the fall and reflecting on its splendid glory. Winter is a time for hot chocolate, skating on icy lakes and reading a Christmas story. Summer Sunshine by Pandora Summer is a time for endless fun For wearing shorts and t-shirts A time to stay out all day Taking a picnic on a long walk Trips down the coast Eating fish and chips and ice cream Hungry gulls squawk above Walks on the beach and making sandcastles Paddling and swimming in the sea a time to wear sunscreen and sunglasses. People getting a tan or sunburnt. For some, they get more freckles. The weather is warmer and drier. There can be droughts and magnificent thunderstorms. The longest days in June. Sunshine puts us in a better mood. People are smiling everywhere. Beside the Seaside by Esther MacLeod Oh, I do like to be beside the seaside All my worries sail away Out in the fresh, clean air A gentle breeze sweeps the hair from my eyes But I can still feel the warm sun on my face I love to see the waves as they lap upon the shore Skimming the golden sand and splashing upon the rocks Walking barefoot feeling the soft, warm sand between your toes and leaving footprints as you go. Seeing families picnicking and eating ice cream, the sounds of children playing on the sand and the birds flying high in the sky. Beside the seaside, let all your worries sail away. Days by the Seaside by John Parker Kids playing in the sand, enjoying ice cream and soft drinks. Their parents sitting on the deck chairs, soaking up the sun. The fresh warm air blowing across a clear blue sky. Not a cloud to be seen anywhere. Places to visit, people taking trains from Central Station down to the Ayrshire coast. Autumn by David Doyle The seasons of the mind are not exactly the same as the seasons of the year. The brain is such a complex thing and living with an acquired brain injury it is sometimes hard to differentiate between the seasons but in my mind I've always associated my favourite season of autumn with friendships and relationships. For me it's about good friends associates and acquaintances, making the best of the situation we find ourselves in. The happy brain is always in a nice-to-be-nice frame of mind and relaxed and happy with the world. And this is what I associate with autumn. Not mood swings or stuck in the doldrums or mind fog like a pea super, especially now during this time. 
but a happy mood and a sense of well-being which doesn't swing up and down like the weather. This is autumn for me. The Wonder of Winter by Nell Whitelaw Winter is dressed in white with sparkles. Winter walks through snow. Crunches can be heard underfoot. Is winter the end of the year? Are our new beginnings waiting around the corner? What do you see? What are you hoping for? A new year? Spring? Thoughts of spring do not spring to mind. As you hear the crunching in the snow, listen out for Santa's bells. Ho, ho, ho! Have you left carrots out for Rudolph? A mince pie and a wee swifty for the big man himself? Yes, let us think about giving. The giving of gifts, gold, frankincense and myrrh. These were the gifts that the three wise men brought on that cold winter's night in Bethlehem. So as we give and receive gifts, let us remember the reason for the season. A Day in the Life of Snowflakes by John Parker As the cold swirls around in the winter sky, the temperature drops below zero. Raindrops start to fall towards the ground and everything starts to freeze. Raindrops transform into snowflakes as they crisply hit the ground. Outside my window, everything is covered in a blanket of white. All around, everything looks white and clean. I like the crunching sound it makes as I walk my two dogs. A Winter's Day by Pandora My favourite season is winter, especially when we get snow. The countryside looks beautiful covered in the pristine white. Going out for walks and making those first footprints in the snow. Listening for the creaking sounds as our boots crush the ice crystals. Looking out for signs of wildlife. The early morning footprints left by deer and foxes. Squirrels will be up safely in trees. Birds nest in sheltered spots. The sun rises later, so it is still dark when we go out and gradually it gets lighter. Sledging is great fun. As children, we found steep slopes to sledge down. When the nearby lock froze over, it was exciting to sledge down the hill and then skid across the ice. It gets dark earlier, so we go home about four in the afternoon. We get cosy inside the house with the coal and log fire on. The flames are hypnotic to watch. We have a warming winter meal. Homemade vegetable soup and then steak pie with puff pastry, roast potatoes, baby carrots and peas. For pudding we have warm apple crumble with custard. Then we settle down on the settee in front of the fire to watch a film. The Stillness of Spring by Nell Whitelaw I look up and watch the clouds dance Slowly across the sky, my eyes glance Winter has waved us goodbye I can feel the sun on the back of my neck As I look down and I watch the birds peck At the seeds I've dropped for them An earthly smell hits my nose As I watch the snowdrops peeking out the crocuses have begun to sprout. A carnival of scents fills the air as the sunshine starts to glare. Their vivid purple glows before my eyes. Spring has sprung. Four Seasons in One Day by Charlie Carr 
I was sitting this morning watching the weather forecast for this Easter weekend and my thoughts went back to the 90s when I was living in New K Cornwall. I stayed on Mount Wise and as I got up at 6am to go to work it looked from a bedroom window like the start of a beautiful spring day. Gulls in the air, a hazy mist as I looked over the golf course towards Fistral Beach. Wishing I could just go there instead of off to work for a busy bank holiday Friday. As I headed down Crantic Street towards town, it was lovely. But things were about to change. And being a bank holiday, I knew to take a change of clothes because you worked from opening to closing and by lunchtime the weather had changed from spring, summer to cooler, light wind and light rain as the afternoon went on. There were sleet and even hailstorms. By 9pm this beautiful day had turned into something like a horror film. The rain was torrential and the streets running with water. <laughs> by, by closing time people had huddled together not wanting to brave the storm outside. After a lock up a well earned drink and talks of what a horrible day it had been and how glad we were to be inside all day. And as I made my way back home sometime after 2am I thought well that is Good Friday. Over. Only three more days to go. We've already had four seasons in one day. What next? Larch and Spring by D. Landman New leaves are growing, needles fluorescent green and soft as puppies. My Favourite Season by John Parker In the springtime, all the things start to grow and come to life, from the plants, grass, wildlife and all the varieties of birds. The leaves start to bloom on the trees. It's time to tend to the garden, cutting the grass, putting out seeds and nuts for all the local wildlife, watching nature come alive and take hold. Whose Planet Is It Anyway? by David Doyle one day I was inspired at the art group as Naomi was playing a song called Be More Kind by Frank Turner, which has these lines. In a world that has decided that it's going to lose its mind, be more kind, my friends, try to be more kind. It's not just people we should be kind to, we should also be kind to our planet. The human race has lost its way along the road by using fossil fuels and destroying the ozone layer. That is why our seasons are haywire. I just hope we can fix it in time before it's damaged too much to reverse and save the world's wildlife. Many of the animals that use the seasons to migrate to warmer climates to survive might become extinct because of climate change by humans. Who gave the human race the right to make decisions which are damaging our environment? We share this planet with thousands of different species and in the seas and on the land we all live according to the seasons. Much of our planet, like the Great Barrier Reef, is being destroyed by the human race making bad decisions which have caused pollution and global warming. Still, there are people who are trying to save the planet. In a world that has decided that it's going to lose its mind, be more kind, my friends. Try to be more kind. <laughs> 